हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू यू ऑल इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट एंटी वायरल ड्रग्स आई विल डिस्कस इंट्रोडक्शन क्लासिफिकेशन मोड ऑफ एक्शन एंड स्ट्रक्चर एक्टिविटी रिलेशनशिप ऑफ एंटी वायरल ड्रग्स सो बिफोर स्टार्टिंग आवर मेन टॉपिक वी विल ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वायरस स्ट्रक्चर वायरस इज ए लेटिन टर्म विच मीन्स पॉइजन viruses are known as disease agents having a very simple chemical composition bacteria and viruses differ in their structure and also in their responses towards the medicines this one is a simplified diagram of the structure of a virus while this one is a bacterial cell bacteria are single cell living organisms containing a cell wall and all other components necessary to survive and replicate while viruses are not considered to be living because of lack of enzyme that function in energy metabolism and also lack of protein synthetic machinery and cell dependent mechanism of multiplication viruses require a host cell to survive long term for energy and to reproduce viruses consist of only one piece of genetic material and a protein cell called a capsid which is a envelope protein bacteria and viruses both are disease causing agents however only less than 1% of bacteria cause disease while most are beneficial for us and earth ecosystems but in case of viruses most are the causative disease agents Viruses are the smallest of all the microbes. They generally range in size from about 20 to 400 nanometers in diameter. You can imagine size of the virus by the fact that around 500 million rhinovirus could fit on the head of a pin. Rhinovirus causes common cold. In case of bacteria the smallest bacteria are about 400 nanometers in size Antiviral agents or antiviral drugs are those agents which are used in the treatment and prophylaxis of diseases caused by viruses Antiviral drugs are classified in several categories according to the treatment protocols in which they are being used First category agents are drugs which are used in the treatment of respiratory virus infections. Second category includes agents used in the treatment of herpes and cytomegalovirus infections. Third category agents are drugs used in the treatment of human immunodeficiency virus infections. And last category includes miscellaneous nucleoside antimetabolites. Now we will discuss these categories one by one. First category includes admentine derivatives such as amantadine hydrochloride, remantadine hydrochloride and tromantadine hydrochloride which are used in the treatment of respiratory virus infections. Second category includes agents used in the treatment of herpes and cytomegalovirus infections. This category is composed of three subcategories. First subcategory of this class include purine nucleotides such as acyclovir, ganicyclovir and vidarabin. Second subcategory is pyrimidine nucleosides. having drugs such as trifluoridine and idoxyuridine last subcategory includes foscarnet which is a phosphorus derivative molecule third category of antiviral agents which include anti hiv agents is divided in three subcategories such as 
A. Reverse transcriptase inhibitors B. Protease inhibitors and C. Integrase inhibitors according to the mode of action of agents First subcategory is further subdivided into purine analogs, pyrimidine derivatives and non-nucleosides. Didenosine is a purine derivative while stevidine, gidovidine, lamivudine, gelsitabine are pyrimidine derivatives. Third subcategory of reverse transcriptase inhibitors, non-nucleosides contains nivirapine, dalviridine, and loviride. Secunavir, endinavir, and retinavir are protease inhibitors. Zintavir is an integrase inhibitor drug. Last main category miscellaneous nucleoside antimetabolite include rivavirin. Rivavirin is an antiviral medication used to treat RSV infection, hepatitis C and some viral hemorrhage fevers. Next is mode of action of antiviral drugs. First of all we will discuss mode of action of amantadine. Amantadine is a class of medications called amantanes. First of all, amantadine enters the virus via endocytosis and localized in acidic vacuoles. Here the drug interferes with viral membrane matrix protein M2 which functions as a proton channel for transportation of hydrogen ions with gradient to interior of viron. This channel is responsible for the dissociation of ribonucleoproteins for the initiation of viral replication. It is believed that amantadine interferes with viral proteins M2, thereby preventing the release of infectious viral nucleic acids into host cells. Next is mode of action of acyclovir. Acyclovir is an antiviral drug that acts as a specific inhibitor of herpes virus DNA polymerase. Acyclovir is converted by a viral enzyme thymidine kinase to a monophosphate form which is subsequently converted to a triphosphate form by host cell kinases. Acyclovir triphosphate form is the most potent form which acts as an inhibitor of herpes virus DNA polymerases than of cellular DNA. So acyclovir triphosphate gets incorporated in viral DNA and stops lengthening of DNA strands. The terminated DNA inhibits DNA polymerase irreversibly. Mode of action of reverse transcriptase inhibitors. When HIV infects a cell, enzyme reverse transcriptase copies the viral single-stranded RNA genome into double-stranded viral DNA. This viral DNA is then incorporated into host chromosomal DNA which generates host chromosomal DNA. Further the generation of the double stranded viral RNA genome allows host cellular processes such as transcription and translation to reproduce the virus. Reverse transcriptase inhibitors are believed to act by the inhibition of the reverse transcription process which is responsible for the virus replication. Reverse transcriptase inhibitors are of two types such as nucleosides reverse transcriptase inhibitors and non-nucleosides reverse transcriptase inhibitors. Mode of action of both are different in the manner that nucleosides reverse transcriptase inhibitors such as gidovidine, gelsitabine, didnosine, stevidine competes as substrate for not only viral but also host DNA synthesis, acting as chain terminators for both 
while non-nucleosides reverse transcriptase inhibitors such as dalveridine, nivirapine, and talvirulin block reverse transcriptase by binding directly to the enzyme. Non-nucleosides reverse transcriptase inhibitors are also known as non-competitive inhibitors. Mode of action of protease inhibitors Protease is an enzyme in the body that is very important for HIV replication. Protease inhibitors act as an competitive inhibitors by the fact that they directly bind to HIV protease and prevent subsequent cleavage of polypeptides. Polypeptides are responsible for production of infectious viral particles. So last is mode of action of rivaverine. Rivaverine is a guanine analog reported to have several mode of actions that lead to inhibition of viral RNA and protein synthesis. Rivaverine is phosphorylated by host cell adenosine kinase to its most active form rivaverine triphosphate. This triphosphate form is reported to inhibit the activity of the viral RNA polymerase because of the resemblance to the RNA molecule. Thus, rivaverine inhibits the replication of wide variety of RNA and DNA viruses. Next, I am going to discuss structure activity relationship of antiviral and maintained derivatives. Amantadine is an antiviral agent with mild anti-Parkinson's activity. Various research studies suggest that N-alkyl and N-N dialkyl derivatives of amantadine exhibits antiviral activity similar to that of amantadine hydrochloride. While in case of N-acyl derivatives of amantadine, reduced antiviral activity is observed. However, glycyl derivatives showed activity. In case of glycyl derivatives such as tromentadine, antiviral activity was observed. In fact, activity is equal to other potent and maintained derivatives. In an another attempt, Replacement of amino group of amantadine with either hydroxy, thiol, cyano or halogen inactive compounds were obtained. So these replacements are not suggested. It has been observed that optical isomers and the racemic mixtures of amantadine are equally active. In an attempt when activity of Edmontane was compared with a derivative of the compound Edmontane spiro 3 pyrrolidine it was found that spiro derivative has greater activity than that of amantadine hydrochloride against influenza A2 virus. Thank you.